giveth this bride to be married to this man? Her mother and I. gathered here in the presence of God and the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Marriage is an institution of divine appointment and is commended as honorable among men. In the quiet bowers of Eden, God saw that it was not good for man to be alone. So for this cause shall man leave his father and his mother and cleave unto his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Holy and happy is the sacred hour, when two devoted hearts are bound by the enchanting ties of matrimony. And these precious, precious evidence of purity of heart, contentment of mind, for all their future, are made more sure when the contracting parties enter the glad time clad in the comely robes of reverence, humility, and faith, that they may be blessed of our Heavenly Father, maker of us all. The one who has ordained marriage is a foundation of the home life. Marriage is one of the first and most important contracts in human history. Jesus honored the marriage in Cana with his presence, and the Apostle Paul tells the husband to love his wife as Christ loves the church and for the wife to be faithful to her husband as the church is faithful to its Lord. Marriage is a companionship which involves mutual commitment and mutual responsibility. And with these commitments, we encourage you, one, dedicate your home to God, two, take his word, the Bible, for your guide. Three, give loyal devotion to his church, and by so doing, it will enhance your life and bring God's favor and blessings on your marriage. If any person present can show just cause why these two should not be lawfully joined together, let them now speak or hereafter forever hold their peace. I'm going to have some paper for you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bow to you today as Lord, creator of all things, maker of the universe. And God, it is you that made us. And Father, Today, as you have established the marriage as the greatest institution and the oldest institution the world has ever seen, God, you still, you still bless people who are united together in one. So, Father, today these two will become one flesh. They'll be one in spirit, one in heart. We pray, God, that you would bless them and bless their marriage and the home that they're making. And Father, we pray for them that they will look to you for guidance and strength. God, when they have hard times, may they trust you. And we know you are there to help them. So Lord, bless this union. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, I want you to just join right in. Hopefully. Jacob, in taking this woman whom you hold by your right hand to be your lawful and wedded wife, do you promise to love her and to cherish her and to honor and sustain her in sickness as in in health, in poverty as in wealth, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her as long as you both shall live? Do you have a ring for her? Okay, would you place it on her finger?
create me and taken this man whom you hold by thy right hand to be your lawful and wedded husband? Do you promise to love him and to cherish him, to honor and sustain him in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, and forsaken all others, keep the only unto him as long as you both shall live? <coughs> This time they're going to light the unity candles. If somebody's got a match. <laughs> <laughs> By the giving and receiving of these rings, an emblem of purity and endless devotion, you do each the other wed, and these marriage vows you do here now forever seal. I do by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Kentucky, and by the authority of Almighty God, I pronounce you husband and wife henceforth and forever. What God had joined together, let no man put asunder. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be upon you. May the Lord bless and keep you both. Inasmuch as you have consented together in this ceremony to live in marriage and have sealed your vows in the presence of this company, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations, Jacob. You can kiss your bride.